Welcome to an Apple a Day, a podcast, a resource, a community. Share your experiences and learn from others as we overcome barriers and learn to live a happy and healthy life. Not as disabled people, but as people with a disability. Welcome to the community. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Welcome to another episode of An Apple a Day's The Fritter. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple. How are you feeling today, my friend? You feeling good? You feeling strong? You feeling better than you did yesterday? Excellent. You can't ask for better than that. Hey, I want to thank all of those who sent me emails and DMs on Facebook wishing me a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. It made my day a little bit brighter. And I want to thank all those who are sending in emails. I do want to answer a couple of them. One, Jake, I just received yours this morning. And put it this way, I don't see any problem. I think that you can. I'm going to answer your email in the next episode of An Apple a Day. But I don't see any problem with it, to be honest with you. But we'll go into it more in more detail in the next episode of An Apple a Day, if you don't mind. I want to answer Karen from Connecticut. She seems to have a problem with me asking how you're feeling in every episode. She thinks it's a little bit, quote unquote, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms-ish. I guess that means that she thinks it's phony. I don't know. I always ask... How you feeling? And if you're feeling better than you did yesterday, that's excellent. So why not? Why not, Karen? What's the problem there? She says that she has bad days. And by me asking that every time I come on, that it's insulting to her. And somehow, I don't understand how that's insulting. Put it this way. Of course we have bad days. People with disabilities have bad days. Everybody has bad days at one time or another. How do you know when you have good days if you don't have bad days, right? So if you're insulted by it, Karen, I'm very sorry. It's not meant to be insulting. I don't think anyone else finds it insulting. If you do, let me know. And speaking of that, if you want to send me an email, you can do so by writing Jimmy at FamousApple.com, that's J-I-M-M-Y, at FamousApple.com. Or you can write admin, A-D-M-I-N, at FamousApple.com, and put Jimmy in the subject. Or you can DM me on Facebook. Just go to Living with a Disability. You can go to www.famousapple.com forward slash group. It'll bring you right to Living with a Disability. That's our Facebook group. And you can DM me right there. But I'd love to hear from you. If you have questions, comments, anything, I'm open to them all. And Karen, thank you for writing. I'm glad you're listening. I hope maybe it's helping you out somehow, some way. I'm sorry if you're insulted by me asking how you're feeling and hoping that you're feeling better than you did yesterday. And like I said, you have a bad day. That's how you know when you have good days. We all have them. Anyway, today we got a pretty good one for you. This has been kicked around a couple of times. People say type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. But people really don't know sometimes. Sometimes, not everybody, but People don't know what the difference is between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And there's more than just type 1 and type 2 diabetes. There's there's several different kinds of diabetes, but these are the two most popular. And what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, what they are, and the different warning signs. So I want you to sit back and relax while Dave gives you the breakdown between type 1 and type 2 diabetes.
Hi friends. Today, I'll be discussing the warning signs of diabetes. In diabetes type 1, the pancreas does not make insulin, because the body's immune system attacks the islet cells in the pancreas that make it. In type 2, the pancreas makes less insulin than it used to, and your body becomes resistant to it. Do you think you or your child may have type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Knowing the early warning signs and symptoms is important to avoid diabetes complications. Without immediate attention it can be life-threatening. Check out the following list then see your doctor or healthcare professional to get the diabetes treatment you need. The onset of type 1 diabetes, previously known as juvenile diabetes, happens very quickly. The following symptoms may appear suddenly and are too severe to overlook. Increased thirst. Increased urination. Bed wetting may occur in children who have already been toilet trained. Rapid and unexplained weight loss. Extreme hunger. Extreme weakness or fatigue. Unusual irritability. Blurred vision. Nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. Unpleasant breath odor. And or, itchy skin. Type 1 diabetes is treated by taking insulin injections or using an insulin pump or other device. This outside source of insulin now serves as the key, bringing glucose to the body's cells. The challenge with taking insulin is that it's tough to know precisely how much insulin to take. The amount is based on many factors, including food, exercise, stress, and or emotions and general health. These factors change a lot throughout every day. So, deciding on what dose of insulin to take is a complicated balancing act. If you take too much insulin, then your blood sugar can drop to a dangerously low level. This is called hypoglycemia and it can be life-threatening. If you take too little insulin, your blood sugar can rise to a dangerously high level. Your cells are not getting the sugar or energy they need. This is called hyperglycemia. As mentioned, high blood sugar levels can lead to the long-term complications and can also be life-threatening. Today, a wide range of computerized diabetes devices are available to help people better manage their blood sugar levels while research toward a cure for diabetes moves forward. The symptoms of type 2 diabetes are similar to those of type 1. But the onset of type 2 diabetes is usually slower and the symptoms are not as noticeable as those for type 1. For these reasons, many people mistakenly overlook the warning signs. They also might think that the symptoms are the signs of other conditions, like aging, overworking or hot weather. Treatment for type 2 diabetes focuses on improving ways to better use the insulin the body already produces to normalize blood sugar levels. Treatment programs for type 2 diabetes focus on diet, exercise and weight loss. If blood sugar levels are still high, medications are used to help the body use its own insulin more efficiently. In some cases, insulin injections are necessary. I hope you found this informative as well as interesting. I'm gonna hand this back over to Jimmy. Have, Have a, a great, great rest, rest of your day. day. Hey, thanks, Dave. And I want to thank you, the listener, for being here today. I want to just tell you something. I speak a lot about diabetes simply because I am someone who has diabetes. And because of diabetes... I have 12 stents in my heart. I have a stent in my right carotid artery. I have a prosthetic in my left carotid artery. I have two stents in my right femoral artery. My left leg has been amputated twice, once below the knee and once above the knee. I have peripheral artery disease. I have coronary artery disease. I've had two heart attacks five strokes, congestive heart failure, my eyesight is going on me, I have peripheral neuropathy in my hands and in my right leg, which means I can't feel anything with my hands and I can't feel the flow of my leg. I'm confined to a wheelchair for the rest of my life and this is because of diabetes. It's so important to watch for the warning signs, my friends. It's so important to watch your diet, watch your, watch your caloric intake, watch your carbs that you take in, watch the alcohol that you drink, get the exercise, get proper exercise. You don't want to end up like me. 
You don't want to have to go through what I'm going through right now. I have to tell you, I have a 90% blockage in my right carotid artery. And there's not a thing they can do about it. Nothing. Because of all my other comorbidities. Right now, I'm a, I'm a sitting, ticking time bomb. That's right. I'm not saying it to be a woe is me. You know me. I'm not that type of guy. I'll tell you something else. Right now, my kidneys, I'm in stage four kidney disease. My kidneys are only working at 20%. So I'm sitting waiting to go into dialysis. I'm not a candidate for a kidney transplant because of all my other medical problems. This is what diabetes does to you. Please get checked. Check with your doctor. Have an A1C test done. Check your blood sugar levels. Don't let diabetes get the better of you. Watch for the signs and symptoms and have it checked. Don't feel foolish. Go get it checked. If you see you're sweating profusely and it's not that hot out, get it checked. If you find yourself, oh, you're always thirsty, tell your doctor. Let him, get it, let him check you out. If you find yourself that you have to urinate unbelievably so many times, have it checked out. These are signs and symptoms. If you're, if you're forever hungry, if you're ravenous, that's a sign. Have it checked out. These are all signs that I missed until my doctor finally caught it on a physical. And if they tell you you're pre-diabetic, do what you have to do. Don't wait. Don't say, oh, I'll take care of it later. Take care of it right then and there. Please, take care of yourselves. And remember this. Things can always be worse, but you don't want to try and break that record. Things can always be worse. Right now, there's somebody somewhere wishing that they were in your position. So things can always be worse, my friends. Hey, you've been listening to An Apple a Day. I'm Jimmy Apple. I'm going to be talking to you again real soon with another Apple Fritter. And also, we have an Apple a Day podcast coming up. You're not going to want to miss. So have a great day today. Make today better than yesterday. And make tomorrow better than today. Have a great one, my friends. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you again real soon. Mm-hmm.